making introductions. Hi, everyone. I'm glad we can all get together to welcome our new roommate to the house. Eric, Percy, this is Diana. It's nice to meet you. Welcome, Diana. We're excited to have a new addition to our group. Where are you moving from? I just moved here from New York City. I worked in marketing and had the opportunity to relocate. Now I'm with a new company. It's a nonprofit and I'm in charge of its social media. I'm excited to be in California, but it's really far away from home. I'm sure you'll make friends fast. Do you like your job, Diana? I love it. What do all of you do? I'm a student. I study psychology and it's my last year of school. I'm hoping to go to medical school and then become a psychologist. I want to work with troubled teens. I'm a student too. I'm in my third year. I study economics and management. And I work at a gym as a personal trainer. I love to exercise and stay active, so it's a perfect job for me. That's great. And are you all from California originally? I am. I was born and raised in Los Angeles. I couldn't imagine living anywhere else. The weather is amazing, and we have the best tacos in the country. What more could a girl want? I'm from California, too. My family is in Santa Barbara. That's where I lived most of my life until I moved to LA for school. I'm the only other transplant from Texas. I moved here to get away from the climate there. And what is the climate there like? It's too hot or too cold, too dry or too wet. There are also a lot of hurricanes and tornadoes every year. Besides, there are too many insects or snakes, and I didn't like that. No wonder you moved to California. Talking about personal interests. Diana, what do you like to do in your leisure time? I like reading and listening to music. I also love to see live music, so I need recommendations for the best venues in town. Sure, there are plenty of great venues with live music in Los Angeles. I'll take you to some of them. Cool, I can't wait. What's your favorite book? My favorite book is A Portrait of the Artist as a Young Man by James Joyce. Have you read it? Yes, I have. It's a very interesting book. I love reading too, but I like more active hobbies though. I love to go skateboarding, swimming, and go hiking and camping. You sure are active. Yes, I am. Do you exercise or do any sports? I'm not crazy about most sports, but I do like to go bowling sometimes. How about movies? What kind of movies do you like? Most kinds, really. I enjoy documentaries, romances, and comedies. I like romances, too. Are they your favorite? Yeah, I guess so. Don't you like science fiction movies? I think they're a little boring, actually. Do you like them? Yeah, I'm a big fan. I like anything with action. Who's your favorite actor or actress? Leonardo DiCaprio. He consistently gives great performances and uses his fame to help the environment too. My favorite actress is Angelina Jolie. She plays different roles and she is always brilliant in her acting. Yeah, I agree. She is strong and beautiful. And she can play in action movies and romantic movies. She is also a philanthropist. 
Household chores. Do you have a system for doing chores here? I wouldn't call it a system, but we all try to pitch in and divide up the responsibilities equally. For example, I like to be outside, so I always mow the lawn, water the plants, and pull up the weeds. Also, I usually take out the trash, since no one else likes to do that. We take turns tidying up the living room, dusting and vacuuming. That way one person isn't always stuck doing it. And I enjoy cooking, so occasionally I'll make a big dinner for everyone and we'll eat together. Then I stick Lily with all the dishes. Hey, it beats burning my food. As long as you feed me well, I'll always do the cleaning. I'll also be sweeping, vacuuming, and mopping frequently. You can count on it. I knew I liked you, Diana. I've often lived with messy roommates, so this will be a great change of pace. I think that'll fit in well with you three. What do you usually cook? Hey, Diana, smell that? Yeah, it smells great and I'm starving. Not to worry, I've made plenty. Great, so what are you cooking? Omelets. My world-famous omelets are the best in town. You want one? Yeah, sure. Do you like cooking, Eric? Yes, I cook almost every day. And what do you usually cook? I often make spaghetti, lasagna, risotto, french fries, and beef steak. How about you? Well, I don't really cook that often because I'm really busy during the week. So I always get something at a shop and eat that. During the weekends, I cook sometimes, but I'm not such a great cook anyway. Do you eat out frequently? Only occasionally. How about you? I normally go out and eat on the weekends with my friends or family. So do you ever buy takeaway? No, never. Normally when I go out to eat, I like to sit and enjoy my food. I see. What social media do you use most often? What are you doing, Diana? Oh, I'm just scrolling social media. What social media do you use most often? Facebook, I guess. I check it every day. I like to look at my friends' posts. Do you post frequently? No, I only post once in a while when I really feel passionate about something or when I want to share something interesting. Do you also use Twitter? I do not use Twitter that much. I check it very rarely. Maybe twice a week. I follow my friends and some famous people. I almost never tweet. Yeah, me neither. What about Instagram? I'm rarely on Instagram. I only check it once in a blue moon. I post a picture about once a month. Oh, how about YouTube and TikTok? I watch them pretty often, but I never post videos. I have friends who post videos frequently on TikTok about five times a day. Really? They must have a lot of free time. Making suggestions. What are all of you doing tonight, guys? Do you fancy going for a drink at the bar around the corner? They have an amazing margarita. No way. I'm very tired. I don't think I'd even be able to get off the couch. I agree with Diana. It's been a long day. Let's better just stay in. Don't worry, Percy. The weekend is just around the corner. Then we'll all have plenty of time to party. No problem. How about some food, though? I'm starving. Me too. Should we get something delivered? 
Yes, that's a very good idea. Why don't we order some pizza? Absolutely. I love pizza. I can order it on my phone. What kind of pizza does everyone like? Veggie or plain cheese is best for me. I like plain cheese pizza the best, too. Does anyone like pineapple on pizza? I know it sounds weird, but it tastes so good. Gross. No, Lily is right. It's surprisingly delicious. How about I order one large cheese pizza and one medium ham and pineapple pizza? Sounds like a plan. Okay, I just placed the order. It should be here in about 30 minutes. Thank goodness, my stomach is rumbling. Maybe once the pizza gets here, we could also watch a movie? I agree. What kind of movies do you all like? I love a spooky thriller with a dramatic twist. I like to be surprised. I like a comedy that will keep me laughing. Or an action movie with lots of explosions. Does anyone like scary movies? Yes, I love them. But they keep me up at night. After I watched The Shining, I didn't sleep for two weeks. Maybe we can flip through the TV channels instead. There's always something good on. Let's watch Animal Planet. Yesterday, they were showing a program about the animals of Yellowstone National Park. It was so cool. I love that. Asking for and giving opinions. Hey, guys. What do you think of this outfit? Does it look cute? And do you think the shoes go well with it? Uh, yeah. It looks cute, I guess. What's this outfit for? It's for an important presentation I have to give tomorrow morning. I want to make a good impression. You want to look stylish, right? You bet. In that case, I don't think this outfit will work. It's too casual. The shirt is too plain and has no real shape. Let's have a look in your closet and see what else you can wear. Okay. If you want to make a good impression, you need to dress well. What's important is that you look good and feel confident and comfortable. So let's figure out what works best for you. Do you like this outfit? What do you say about this beautiful blouse? And isn't this skirt adorable? Well, I like the pattern, but I think the colors are too bright, though. And this is not a business outfit. Okay. This white shirt looks much better, don't you think? And it matches the skirt, right? I'm not sure about this vintage look. And the skirt seems too tight. We could probably do better. Wow. Now that's what I call a perfect look. It looks good on you. These pants are so cool and look terrific. And I love the silk blouse. You definitely look more professional. Yeah, it's a trendy look. I love it too. You're going to make a good impression tomorrow. I sure hope so. Thanks for your help, Lily. Anytime, Diana. Have you seen my wallet? Bro, have you seen my wallet anywhere? No, man. Where'd you last have it? I can't remember, but I always put it on my nightstand when I get home. And it's not there? Obviously. Well, it's got to be around here somewhere. Did you check on the top of your dresser? In your drawers? Under your bed? Yes, I've looked everywhere for it. You know, I think Lily ordered Chinese takeout last night. Maybe she used the cash in your wallet to pay for it. Did you check in her room? Ugh, Lily! I'll go look. Nope, it's not there. Wait, didn't you have your wallet at the movies? That was after dinner. 
Oh, yeah, you're right. And didn't you give it to Diana so that she could get you some more popcorn during the movie? Oh, right, Diana. Hang on, you had your wallet after the movie. Remember, you paid for the taxi home. Wait, I was on the phone with my dad then. So I gave you my wallet to pay for the taxi when we got back last night. Oh, yeah. And then I put it in the back pocket of my jeans. Okay, go get them. I need my wallet. I can't. They're in the washing machine right now. Percy! Thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this.